You know what I mean? Yeah, perfect. This almost looked like a like a prison visit, low key, because you got like this white tee on, this white background and shit. <laughs> it's like it's like ever. it's like you've been locked away for a little bit, and I'm just getting a chance to catch up with you for like seven minutes of the day or some shit. Now you know I'm hanging in there, man. How are you, how are you with you? <laughs> so three, two, a Q. Yo, your girl, little bacon bear, hanging out with uh, wow, Brit Fias. What's going on? You know, I don't even, I low-key don't even know where to start kind of with you because there's always like this weird thing like when you've met an artist before, you fuck with that artist, you hella listen to their shit and you haven't, I haven't talked to you in a long ass while and it's like weird doing this digitally, you know? I don't know, you know, last time I see I ran into you in Charlotte, that was it. You know, I almost feel like that night didn't happen. Like, I've ne- it was, I can't even explain it. Like, it was like I saw a fairy. I didn't even expect to see you there in the first place. So I was like, shit. It's almost like it didn't happen. Man, yeah, Matt Randall. Shout out to the strip club. I've never been to that strip club ever before or ever again, but it was a good time. <laughs> so obviously everybody's in social distancing and quarantine and all that good stuff. But walk me through the past like six months. Where you been at? What you been up to? Um, just working a lot. I've been in the studio a lot. Um, working out. Like really just trying to, you know, like, Get everything together. I think this is the perfect, you know, opportunity to got down, um, just get right on, on, on every level. Well, I mean, it's definitely showing. I think right out the gate, you started off. We got gravity. You came out swinging. It's been well received. Yeah. Like you knew it was gonna do that. I'm sure you did. Yeah, I, mean, I knew. I knew we had one when, when we first started working on it. Like first loop, I was like, yeah, this one. Right Talk to me about how you and Tyler ended up in the same space because I feel like shit. Um, we really here reached out to work on some stuff. We had like other things that we was working on too. Mm-hmm. So that particular record, it was um, I already I was working on it with DJ Dye. It was a session that we was doing with Adidas and yours truly. And I was thinking like where else we could take it. So I called Tyler up, see if he could put something on it. That's how that came together. Well, you definitely put all the magical touches there, and I'm glad that you got it done. I think I was most like surprised and definitely. Uh, inspired by the fact that you used a DJ. A lot of people are just like forgetting the lost art of having a DJ involved in a song or a project. And DJ Dahi, Dahi got to contribute his piece. You know, that's special to me. That's something that's kind of rare for some reason. Oh, yeah, he, he didn't go, man. Like, that, that, that motherfucker got, like, accolades on accolades. So just the fact that he, you know, wanted to be a part of that record and, and I was able to do that with him, crazy. Well, to follow it up, of course, you did do not listen. So I wasn't sure if I was supposed to listen or like not listen. So I did. I just didn't follow the rules. So. Man. Yeah, I, no, it was on. Um, I, I really I, I wanted people to get back to like download music. And I'm going to be real with you. I had a lot of like samples and shit like that that I probably couldn't clear. So I was like, let me just put the stuff on. Yeah, I kind of figured that. But speaking on like downloading music, were you like a LimeWire person? Like uh, you downloaded Craig That Soldier Boy thinking you was going to get this, but you got that type shit? LimeWire, FrostWire, um, Aries, uh, what else? I was on everything. <laughs> oh, with all the uh, Lil John drops all over the shit. Gangsta Grizzlies and shit. It's just like, wow, I just didn't know what I was getting. It was a trick bag anytime. All of that for real. And and like even the Dat Piff days, the hot new mixtape days and all Dat that. Piff.com. I was on that heavy. So like that means that you naturally are like a MySpace kid. Like what'd you have on your MySpace if you could think back? It I used to change my MySpace song in background like every week. Did you have a top eight or were you one of those people that did like a top one, top sixteen? Where were you at? Um I had a big top, like the, the goddamn It'd be like top 26 or something like that. <laughs> top 32. All yeah. my niggas is viewable. All my niggas. <laughs> um, you know, I don't think that we've caught up since before. Honestly, fuck the world. And then honestly, the fucking world fell apart. So what, what's, gone, what's gone on in Brent's life since then? I think that you've become like a fucking star. Like zero to literally zero to 100. And does it feel like that for you? Um, it's still a lot of work to do. A lot of work to be done. Like I'm, I'm happy where every where everything is at. I'm happy where I'm at artistically. Now it's time to like match the gas for real, for real. Do you t- do you claim and hug the title that like you're like a toxic king of sorts? Do you think that you're toxic? No, that's the that's internet talk. I don't think you're really that toxic either. But I mean, like I feel like people say that. But I mean, it has both the positive and negative connotation to it. But do you think you're toxic? 
No, not at all. I, that's that's internet talk. I don't even I don't even like that word. Uh, nobody uses that in conversation. But just in the past couple of years, everybody's been using the word talking. I don't even know what y'all talking about. Well, I mean, I think it's just the idea that like, like you're supposed to be loving the ladies and you want to like hug us and like make us feel good and stuff. But you just like, no, nah, I'm not going to be around, girl. Like I'm here and then I'm gone. Like a rolling stone. I think it's just honesty. You know what I mean? Yeah. I feel like people just don't expect it to come from me because like my boy's pretty. <laughs> So it's like, wait, what? But no, I don't, I don't pay that no more. I mean, your demeanor is not that way either. So, I mean, it's never been toxic to me, but I don't know. Let other people know, man. Let them know. I mean, I, I can't really let them know because, like, unless I'm, like, a love interest, that's the only way you really know. Like, honestly, you only know somebody if you fucking somebody. Like, that's when you start really knowing some real shit. Yeah, so a- I can't I can't speak too far, but I can't say on on the on the surface level, you definitely are not toxic. Thanks. That feels good. I don't get that. <laughs> <laughs> well, don't prove me wrong. Don't prove me wrong. Don't have me out here looking stupid saying you're not toxic and then you just do some toxic shit. Oh, I don't be doing that. Okay. All right. Now uh in the vein of seeing yourself on the billboards, is that still exciting for you or do you just expect it at this point? Um they get the, the billboards get bigger and bigger, so I get more excited. <laughs> Well, I mean, two of the biggest accolades I think that I've seen from you recently were Forbes 30 under 30 and then also uh, YouTube Black Voices. Yeah. You got, I mean, you got billboards for both of those. Like, did one supersede the other? Were you just like, damn, that's really me? Like, damn. No, I'm just happy there's so much support now. Like, I remember I would drop music and when nobody really paid attention like that. So the simple fact that I could come out with one song and there's so many people behind it and all these campaigns and whatnot, like, I'm just appreciative. Well, these campaigns definitely love you. And I think that we're going to see more of you on the screen because I think even down to like the PG uh, Lang commercial, you know, this might be a film brand that we might see. I would love to. I'm, Buy I'm us working. films. Like my, my, my brother and the homies and then they write some stuff. We're working on some stuff. So. I don't want to say too much because then if you don't do it tomorrow, people like a cat. So <laughs> It's not even about doing it so much tomorrow as much as I think that people like to know that's that's what your mind is set on. You know, that's what your intention is on. Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely. So you do see more film potentially. Yeah. Yeah, I've been into it, especially since COVID and whatnot, like talking to acting coaches and all that stuff. You know? Talking to acting coaches? I need me an acting coach. I want to get a voice coach, not to sing, but to talk. So you said what? I want to talk better. I want to talk the best. Like, hearing that from you means a lot. <laughs> you can honestly do like cartoons or something if you wanted to. You are the third person this month to tell me that, but I don't know what kind of cartoon that I would do or like if I could sustain it. But that's why I need the vote, the voice coach to like train and like get those talents going because you know, yeah. I can see it. It's like a different tango. What kind of cartoon character do you see playing just so I can like manifest it? Um, I'm trying to think. I'm gonna be real. It has to be a cartoon character that's like similar to your personality. I mean, she had to be like like little and cute and curly. You know what I mean? Little, cute, and curly. Something like that. Okay. <laughs> yeah. well, shit, maybe I gotta write the cartoon. Yeah, write it out. Let's work on it. Let's get it. What? Would you play a cartoon voice in it? Yeah, I'd do that. I don't know. Why? If I'm not singing or nothing. You ain't gotta sing. You could talk. Yeah, I do that. Okay. Okay. We'll work on it. We'll we'll revisit that. We'll circle back. Uh, talk to me about the importance of lost kids because I got a cool hoodie and it's a great hoddy. I don't know if you've seen them or got to wear one, but them joys feel nice. Oh yeah. <laughs> yeah. Hefty. Um. Yeah. Lost kids. That's the label. That's you know from the from the time I was what fourteen, fifteen. That's been what it is. So. Yeah. What did it take to make it a label? Because like, I mean, I just understand it as a couple facets. Like obviously there's merch, there's people involved, there's like photographers. It's just kind of like murky to me. I don't really get it necessarily, but I do know that it's a label. It's a, it's a collective, it's a movement. You know what I mean? Like um, from, from, from style to music to like film that we're working on, like Lost Kids, we're taking over every aspect of, of entertainment in our particular way. Are you still fighting to be independent? Like, is that still your 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 goal? Um, yeah, I'm not fighting to be independent. I'm just independent. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> well, I only say fighting because I mean niggas always describe it as a struggle of like, am I gonna take this bag? Am I gonna turn this bag down? You know, am I am I gonna stay true to what I I set out to do, or am I gonna change up? You know. Um, 
nah, ain't no struggle for me. Nah. What would you say to another aspiring person that is looking at you and saying, well, I'm over 14, but I want to start my music label and I want to put my music out under an independent scope. What would you say? What advice would you offer? Um, I say, I say, do it. I say, um, it, it's not going to be as easy as, you know, as it look, you know what I mean? Every, like it, I guess what it, it might take an entire lifetime to create a, like an overnight success, but don't, but don't stop and don't like wait to do things. A lot of people will like, have ideas of things that they want to accomplish and then they'll just sit on it and just wait and wait and wait and wait and wait. But if you decide you want to like, you wake up and you want to run a label, like that very day you should move like you run a label. What says your intention for you? Cause I mean, especially like in a time where social distancing, it's like hard to feel like that you got, that you could just do it tomorrow. You could do something tomorrow cause it's tomorrow's coming. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. um, I don't know, I try not to put nothing off, man. Like, if I got an idea, I want to execute it that day. I'm probably going to get on the phone with you about a cartoon, literally, and, like, after we get off of this. <laughs> don't bullshit me. Don't bullshit me. Because I ain't got nothing but space, time, and opportunity. Because I'm back at home. Ain't shit open where I'm at, so. You know I, mean? I feel like, if anything, COVID is the perfect opportunity to, like, uh, execute every idea that you got. What seeds do you think that you planted for yourself during social distancing? Um... I spend a lot more time with family. Um, yeah. That's that's like been the main thing for real, for real. Like really checking on my people, making sure everybody's good. Do um, you have like little cousins and stuff like that? Yeah. Well, do they look up to you? Cause that's, been my, that's like my favorite shit. Like buying Girl Scout cookies from my little cousins just to make sure they feel supported. Stuff like that, paying for the birthday party, just being around. Do you, does that support feel good to you? Yeah, I mean, I see all my little cousins, like, all the time. They'll hit me on Instagram. They'll see everything I'm doing. I mean, how is it? Like, I talk to them all the time. Well, I'm sure the, the light, night and day is very different for you. Things have changed really, really rapidly for you. Do you think that your family has adapted well? And do you think that, like, it's going to be more difficult the more time that you spend? Or do you think that it's just, like, it's easy for you oh, to yeah, balance, I got, rather? I got the perfect uh, uh, fam famous mom. That's <laughs> I mean, that's just been how she is, you feel me? She bent out. We were superstars, you know what I mean? So she know how to move. Yeah, my mom be on the same shit. You would have thought that she was the one, like, on the mic doing all the talking and shit. Because she just falling. She she adapts to where I'm at. And that's yeah. what I love about her. Very well adjusted. <laughs> like, like. <laughs> that's why. You think that you'll ever put your mother in some of your work? Because I feel like a lot of artists tap on their parents, especially if they're talented. Um, yeah, definitely. I would. It depends if she wants to, though. Cause I want she to wouldn't get an interlude? Yeah. One one thing it it has to be it has to be smooth. I actually, yeah, it's some stuff that that I, I can see around. <laughs> I I love that. I love to see that. I hope we get to see more of Mama Mama Fias. I don't know what to call her, but you know, I call her that. Um, when you're home, when's the last time that you were home, and what's it like when you are here? Do you get like recognized when you're out and about? Um, I was home for the holidays. Um, yeah, it's pretty much everywhere for real, for real. Like if I go to if I go to uh get some food if i'm driving in the car like anything do niggas like stop you to like take a picture do they have a story do that is it just like is it like that yeah yeah it's, it's pretty crazy see i only get like a junior size of that niggas to stop being a store for their mixtape and they just be like i gotta go bro so i'm glad to hear that you're getting the love when you when you are here have you heard yourself on like dmv radio yet um not, not when i was back i didn't i didn't have anything that was on i'm trying to think the last thing was 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 Gang Over Love. That was the last one that was like the Gang Ray Radio jumped up and been away. Yeah, it's been away. When I went back, I was like, "What?" I want to raise my hand and take responsibility for those actions. <laughs> I was like, "What?" No, nah, I think I think it's great. I think that you give great music for here. Honestly, it feels good. It feels like a champ. I feel like we're championing like a real local artist when we put you in this position. Like it's like, no, I seen this nigga in twenty seventeen. This nigga has showed love since he got on the scene. He's never changed up. He hasn't been. He's been pretty consistent. He's given us nothing but great things to support. So I mean, shit, high five to that. I appreciate it. the love is overwhelming, man. Like no, I'm glad. I'm glad it's felt no matter where you at. Uh, in your video for circles, I don't think I've ever seen your hair like that. I've never seen your fro. Had to bring it out, bring the fro out. What's your natural hair care routine? Um, I get it braided. Uh... <laughs> <laughs> no, but somebody like you gotta do it. It's not always braided. Nah, I'm, I mostly just keep it braided because I know if I keep it out too long, I'm gonna just let it do what it do. It'll start to lock up. 
Over. I think that you got, I would like to see a tutorial of like you get your hair done because I think you have beautiful hair. Like I didn't even know it was like, it was yeah. like that. I mean, I've, been, I've been growing it for a little minute. I'm trying to figure out how long I can get it. You think you, you, you think you'll like just keep growing it like down your back or some shit? You gonna keep wearing the straight backs? Yeah, that's what I'm just doing. It's easiest. And I, I like to switch my hairstyle up like pretty frequent. And I know if I get a fade, that's just so much maintenance. Like to keep a low cut, after about four days, you got to go back to the barbershop. Yeah, that's how I feel about my nails. It's like, oh, well, I got to change again. It's like keep variety in your life. I think niggas feel the same way about their haircuts. Mm -hmm. So I know that you're a dog dad. Yeah. What's it like being a dog dad? I'm trying to be a dog parent next, so. Oh, yeah, Marlo, he 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 he's got big, man. Like, he was, I have a little French bully for everybody. Like, he's buff as shit. Yeah, he's big. That's why I don't even think he's full French bully. I'm, I think he might got a little box or American bully or something in there because he's big as shit. <laughs> no, I feel like, I don't know, like, first off, Frenchies are like designer dogs. I have one that's a nephew and like he buff as shit too. I don't know what's up with these buff dogs. They like y'all's favorite dogs, but they're so sweet. Yeah, they sweet dog. You know, I will say another random thing that I've kind of run across and I didn't even expect it, but little baby loves you. Little baby and Jada, like, what the fuck? Yeah. Yeah, it sounds like the baby, man. It's like he, him, I don't know if you, I saw this uh, this YouTube video and it had like, they were singing to each other. They were singing your song to each other like it was a love song. And I was like, this is like a memory. We go look back whether they survive or not. It's like, look at this moment. I didn't know that Lil Baby would be a Brit Fires fan. I didn't expect it, I guess. No, nah, I, I didn't either, but I, I appreciate it, goddamn. Especially, it's a mutual respect. You know? Do you think that you guys would ever collaborate? Um, yeah, definitely. Like soon, cause I, I'm manifesting that. I see the vision. I mean, I'm in Atlanta right now, so I'll probably put that together. Okay, say less. Well, of course, you know the rest of the year is ahead of us. First off, is the is the album actually called "Make It Out Alive"? Cause niggas been saying that on Twitter, but that don't mean it's true. Yeah, that's what it's called. Make it alive. Make it out alive. What's that mean to you? Um, I feel like it's a it's a lot of it's a lot of distractions out here, and it's a lot of a lot of things in this life and in this world that'll that'll kind of make it so that um, it's difficult to maintain your sanity. And I think make it out alive for me isn't just, you know, alive in a physical sense, but make it out alive is just intact. What are you doing to make it out alive? Um, man, a lot, man. I'm a, I've been on my, on my self-care tip, like, as of late, you know what I mean? I mean, I, I don't be drinking no more, smoking no more, no like nothing for real, for real. I'm trying to, you know, stay clear headed out here. I mean, your skin look good, so I mean, you gotta be doing something. Uh, wh so, what made you like take your self care routine seriously? Because I mean, I think it's hard to maintain self care like when you're practicing social distancing because niggas is in the house. Uh, I think that's the perfect opportunity to. I, I'm, I'm one of the people. I'm, I'm, I do things more socially. So it's like, I'll drink if everybody else drinking. I'll smoke if everybody else smoking. Versus if I'm by myself, I might not feel like doing nothing. Yeah. Do you like be stretchy, you be working out and eating good and like stuff like that too? Yeah, I'm trying to get into like eating better. I, I feel like I eat wings every day. No, I be I eating eat bullshit, so. I mean, honestly, sometimes it just hit, it hit better. <laughs> Do you have any it favorite really like junk foods? Um... Yeah, the fridge at the crib is crazy. I got like fruit roll ups. Fruit <gasps> Stop, the... that's my fave. I got hella shit. I got hella fruit snacks. I got hella chips, um, honey buns, everything. Hey, honey buns, but I love the taste of strawberry fruit roll up. It's like, it's nothing, there's nothing more consistent. It always tastes like third grade. It's always 2002. So I don't it know. Don't that's just me. He said, what? It don't change. That don't change. Um, with the rest of the year ahead of us, do you have like a, a date, time, a star alignment in which we can expect make it out alive? Because I know it's a work in progress and you did do not listen, just like surprise. So maybe this going to be a surprise too? Um, yeah, you know how I, how I do. I don't really like to say too much. I just like to put it out. Yeah, you be low. You do be low. It's more fun like that. Is there anything special that you would say to your fans that have been supporting you from Sonder, from Sonder's son, from just everything on forward? Um, I, I appreciate the love and I appreciate support. And um, we're about to take this everywhere. I believe you. 
You better take this everywhere. No, I believe you. And definitely, we love you back here in the DMV. We're supporting you. We're rooting for you. It's just, it's Godspeed from here. It's up. It's up. It's up. It's up and it's... St- oh, I can't even... Mm-mm. That's, now that's a song. I can't even say the whole sentence now because it's a fucking song. Oh, okay. So, but thank you, Brad. I appreciate you. I appreciate you. <laughs>